Okay, so let's go ahead and this video will look a little bit closer on UI. We have an overview before, very rough. And usually I do this so you get familiar with some menus. When we go access or says, hey, let's go to the tool or brushes, you kind of know where it's located. Um, customizations in a flame painter is quite a bit um, advanced. So it's meaning you can modify a lot of stuff and layout to fit your use. For example, each menu, if you remember, you can remove it, that window, you can place it where you want it, you can make it so floating around, you can readjust position, and most important with this, you can also uh, hide them or display. To display and hide, if we go in Windows, we can right here, hide display our windows. We also can collapse because, for example, if our brush is too much, but I don't need to use a pen area. I can also click and collapse my pen area. It still be there, but notice right now, we can see almost all our brushes. So we expand work area for specific windows. And again, when we go back to work on a, a with the pens, we can click on this element plus, and now we expand and we can access all properties for our selected tool. So this way it will give it us flexibility to work with that. Also, let's say when you work with any specific, and we'll just go up and brush creator. In a brush creator, you can see we have a lot of different elements. So when we're removing, undocking this, we have this element like triangle. If we move mouse over, click and hold left button, we can actually resize. And we don't need necessarily resize vertically, we can expand horizontally. This way we can easy access to the properties and sliders. The biggest benefit about extending horizontally are now our sliders, we can easy adjust them by dragging with small increments, like by one point almost. Instead, if we remember, if we had this close by using sliders will be quite a bit harder. They change quite a bit faster. So we can do that. Um, to close our windows, if you need it, you can always go to Windows and uncheck. Or right here we see the hamburger scans. If we click on this, it's given us additional menu. So in this menu, we can do other properties. And this is well based on what windows we use. But it's also what I want to say on the bottom, we have it closed. So let's click close. This way we can close any windows. And you can see the same with the brushes. We'll just for now ignore all of this um, related to this two areas. We'll just look on the close. We click, it will close. Again, don't panic if you close this window. You always can go back, Windows drop down, and click on the elements to re-enable that windows. When you set your layout, you maybe want to share or save it, or maybe you have a total different layouts. For example, you maybe have it one layout for the print, other layout for the coloring, whatever you like it. If you like your layouts, you can go in a windows and right here you have it two options, import or export layout. By exporting layout, I can save it how I like position for my windows. And when I need preload it, I can click import layouts. Remember the Flame Painter 4 will remember your last layout. So next time if you close the application that you open, it will, will open with your last layout as you was working. But again, right here you can import export and don't uh, worry about playing around and messing readjusted windows. If you get totally confused, you always can go to res reset layout to default. And if you did some modifications, it will reset it. For the purpose of tutorials, I will try to keep my layout to the standard. So as you open on this case, you don't need to be confused why that windows on this place or other ones. So I will keep it my layout to the standard as when you first time open application. Okay. There's a couple other things I want to look. It is options, how we can work with our screen uh, and other applications. Example, if we go in a view option, notice right here, we have a zoom, zoom out, fit the screen and all these additional properties. And mostly what I want to look very fast, 
zoom in and out so it's very straightforward we can zoom in and out of our canvas we can do also if you have a mouse with scroll wheel you can use a scroll wheel to do this also notice you will have it plus and minus options so on your keyboard if you press plus or minus key you can do same thing so you have a shortcut also by pressing zero we can zoom to 100 percent we can fit to our screen you press that also you can just click on this and also we have it snap to canvas so when we work it will snap to this show our cursor what we have it show our particles currently work with the dots we can work with the showing particles as a lines so you can see it is vector based so it will showing ours how they are going with lines however i find that is a little bit confusing so i like keep it on the dots we also want to work with the particles we can preview the particles and we can show save boundaries so when we work right here you can see the boundaries kind of highlighted the two other interesting properties one it's actually enter full screen if i click enter full screen you can see it's come out out of some render area because my screen capture a little bit smaller than my uh, 4k so we'll go back right now view and i just remove from this and other things is become very useful and i'm surprised how much useful it is stay on top stay on top allow this application when it's enabled be on top of everything so on this case if something pop up on a on a background or you have other application you can see i can kind of dragging other application behind it's going literally behind because applications stay on top so if i disable and again i will take for example lightroom or other ones you can see it's going up front not from the back of my application so, and this is get used to when you work and maybe some other pre application notifications pop up and take it you from creation so i do like lock and check stay on the top this way the focus is always an application that i'm working with again if you need it you can enable disable by clicking on that property there sometimes when you work you will notice the menus may be a little bit too distracting and you want to concentrate or maximize your view just on the your canvas you press top key you'll notice how they disappear so now we have those windows is hiding for us so you can use this for different reasons but overall it's very easy if you press tab key you will appear and it will cycle through them hide or display your windows your tools brushes and all other elements